uh, my first drum teacher, Tim Rago, had a friend that was studying with him. And uh, he was the one that made the connection. Uh, Eddie lived out on uh, Long Island. And uh, I mean, he gave me like a really good interview before he would even accept me as a student. You know, like he didn't want a beginner. Okay. He was, you know, he was dead serious about, well, you got to be serious about, you know, what we're going to do. Sure. This was 1969. I think I, I recall paying him like $35 for a half hour lesson, which was a lot of bread for a 20 year old kid. Bad. In the days, you know, yeah. Yeah. plus I had to travel from New York to New Jersey or New Jersey to New York rather and back on a bus and walking and everything else. So it was a, a commitment. You bet. Yeah. And, um, and he worked me. I mean, we went through a bunch of, uh, you know, books and methods. And uh, uh, he actually, Eddie Shaughnessy, is the man that changed my life. He was the one that suggested that I teach or get involved in, 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 uh, in uh, instructing. Wow. And um, um, I don't think of myself as a teacher. Um, yeah. I don't teach somebody how to play the drums. Okay. I share what others have shared with me. Okay. And you apply it the way you want, you got know? It, got it. I mean, you can go on the internet and Google drum lessons, okay, and you'll get 25 million hits. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, are they all experts? I don't know about yeah. that, but, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't tell people what to do. This is what works for me, and... If it works for you, that's that's fine and dandy. Um, you know, he had a beef or a gripe with everybody, okay. you know. Okay. Um, he was a little boy that never grew up. You got to remember he was in Vaudeville with his parents. Mm -hmm. and when he was seven years old, he was making $1,500 a week. You know how much, how many thousands of dollars yeah, that would be that's today? That's a lot. Wow. Yeah. And um, he was, you know, he never really had a childhood. I mean, he didn't get a chance to play like you and I did when we were kids and stuff like that. All he knew how to do was to play the drum. Sure. When you're a fish in water, do you realize that you're in water? Sure. Right. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, he's the greatest drummer in the world yeah. because that's what he did. Right. Right. You know, he couldn't take pictures. He couldn't play golf. He, I mean, like things that you and I and other people would normally do, he couldn't do. Right. But he was exceptional with, you know, yes. he was okay. Yeah. You know, you had to get him in a, in, in when he was in a good mood. And sometimes he was in a good mood and sometimes he wasn't. Okay. As years went on, he got to know me. Mm -hmm. um, and we had some pleasant conversations. And there were times that I felt that uh, he resented me. But, okay. I mean, that was Buddy. Yeah. You know, 